Tonight, on a very special Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay is in Eagle Rock, California, where twins Jim and Jeff are fighting to keep the restaurant alive. Right from the very beginning, Gordon finds out he has double trouble on his hands. Oh, my God. They're messy. Make sure they say a prayer before they start eating that. They're lazy. When was the last time this place was cleaned? What a mess. I hate cleaning. To me, that's a four-letter word. They're loud. You sure you don't like raw chicken? And they're emotional. <laughs> it was that bad. And this all adds up to a recipe for disaster. Will you stop acting like a baby? Oh, throw it out your Excuse me? You heard it. Hey, wait, 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 need diaper changing. Shut up. Will Chef Ramsay be able to get through to Jim and Jeff? Right now, you're making yourself look stupid. Or is this set of twins beyond saving? It's a mistake. It's a lethal mistake. We can't serve them. You kill somebody. I screwed up. What do you want me to say now? Nestled in the middle of the up-and-coming neighborhood of Eagle Rock, California, is Capri, an Italian restaurant which is owned by the Thiel Twins. Hi, Hi. I'm Jeff. Yeah. I'm Jeff. <laughs> no, I'm Jeff. You're Jim. I'm Jim. And we're, we're the, the owners, owners of the, the Capri, Capri Italian, Italian restaurant. Good evening, Capri. Jim speaking. How we got into the restaurant business was we used to come here all the time, and we loved the place. So we would said, we'll buy it. The feeling was, it's like, dude, free pizza? All right. Yeah, yeah, word, word, uh-huh, Team Capri. <laughs> Twins are like two overgrown boys. <laughs> Jeffy's getting larger. <laughs> Let's play symbols. They're just kind of immature. Oh, I should have you do the chicken fillet. Excuse me. They're just doing what they know, and it's not working. <laughs> Ta-da! Sorry. Are you <laughs> sorry? It's OK. Yes, everybody is entertained by their childishness. But it is a restaurant, and we're here to serve food. That looks good. Oops. You know what? These guys can't cook. We're going to figure a better way to do the lasagna. We're getting too many people saying it's overcooked. Do you think we should cook it less? The food that comes out in the kitchen looks terrible. What do you say? It wasn't cooked. It's raw. Yeah, I win them all. It's embarrassing. It looks like nobody cares. You sure you don't like raw chicken? Here, they're an issue. Jim and Jeff are lazy. All right, I'm going to the car. Wake me up when it's over. Lazy is an understatement. The twins' highest priority is doing as little work as possible. There's something that we're doing wrong, and I'm not sure what it is. But the financial situation hit the pooper. We're broke. <laughs> Oops, that pink is never a good color. I haven't paid them for a few months. We need help. If things don't change, I would say the doors will close quickly. Hello? No, the phone's not working again. Fingers crossed that Chef Ramsay's gonna help us. Italian dining since 1963. Closed since 1963. My God. Hideous. One, two. Hello. Hi there. How are you? Pretty good. I'm Jeff. Good to see you. Good to see you. Likewise. Uh, it looks shut from outside. Uh, yeah, we're not open yet. Are you not open yet? No. When do you open? Uh, Four o'clock. Dinner only? Yeah. And you're the uh, owner? Yeah. My Brilliant. brother and I are. OK, great. Would you like to meet my brother? Uh, yes, please. What's his name? Jim. Jim. And you're Jeff? Yep. My god, look at this place. OK. What do you need to just say, hey, how's it going? Okay. You won't know. It's fun to play jokes on people. In the Twin Union book, you got to mess with people. Hey, how's it going? Jeff, is your brother not available? No, I'm Jim. No, no, come on. No, I'm his brother. You're kidding me. No, I am. Seriously. I am serious. <laughs> Jeff, go and get Jim. Come on, don't listen. All right. All right. I've got Hold work on. to do. Hold Please. on. Please. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get him. What is this? The comedy store? <laughs> Bloody hell, look at them. 
Are you kidding me? Come <laughs> on, guys. <laughs> Jeff and Jim. Yes. Correct. Jeez. Look at you two. <laughs> you are identical. <laughs> You're not dressing like this especially no, today. No, no, we, we, we wear this as this is for the rest. You've even got the same <laughs> sneakers on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pen there, pen there. I didn't even notice T-shirt there, T-shirt <laughs> there. <laughs> I didn't notice Bit that. of flower there, bit of flower there. Yep. Yeah. What was quite scary. Yeah, yeah. Jim? Yep. And Jeff? Yep. So who's in charge? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, basically I am. I worked here longer than he has. OK. Uh, what, since 1963? Come on. Oh, no, 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 we no. bought it about 14 years ago. OK. So why aren't you open for lunch? The Capri's never open for lunch, which is good. I'd rather go on the computer, watch TV, play poker. The problem is, for lunch, we have to get another whole staff. Goof off, sit in the sun. <laughs> you haven't even tried it? No, I haven't. No, I'm not ready to jump into the lunch yet. OK, but you're open every day for dinner? Wednesday through Sunday. Say that again? Wednesday, Wednesday through, through Sunday. Sunday. What's wrong with Monday, Tuesday? So help me understand this. OK. Right. So you actually close longer than you open? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> OK, well, thanks for updating me. I'm going to sit down and uh, eat. Please, yeah. right over here. Thank you. Let me get you some water. I'll get the water. No, I'll get the water. Yeah. Jeez, seriously? Are these menus from 1963 as well? No, they're getting old. I know, we have to get... You're kidding me. Well, look at that. Is this a joke? No, it's not. You're kidding me. I can't me. believe they're, they're falling apart. You can't even read that. It's so dirty. First impressions. Wow. OK. Give me five minutes to have okay. a read of the menu. OK. Yeah. okay. And I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you guys later, yeah? OK. Holy crap. I don't know what Chef Ramsay expected, but it's not a shishi place. I'm not a shishi kind of guy. I'm more down to earth. Oh, hello, I'm how are you? Colleen, I'm your server today. OK, nice to see you. Colleen, how long have you been here? Nine and a half years. A decade? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, what was the last thing we got changed in here? Oh, this is still the same way the original owners had it. Really? The wallpaper's been up there for 35 years. My God. Let's, uh, let's go through the menu, yeah? Let's start off with um, meatball sandwich. I love meatballs. Who makes them? They come from a company that we order from. <laughs> You're kidding me. No. We can't even make a meatball. I can. <laughs> OK, let's go for a meatball sandwich. And let's go for the chicken scapella. OK. Pizza. Ooh. Let's go for the uh, Capri Colossal. You want the big one? Yeah, why not? OK. OK, I'll let you put that order in. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. OK, what do we have to make? Chicken scarpello, meatball sandwich, extra large colasso. He wants an extra large? Jim, get me an extra large dough. What does he want? The colossal. All righty. So it's not just the menus. Oh, dear. Bits of sauce down there. Crap. Ugh. Just disgusting. Bits of <laughs> everywhere. Let's tape on the carpet. Look at this place. When was the last time the place was cleaned? Not lately. How long has this stuff been here? 20 years. 20 years? Bloody hell. Oh, it's like it's snowing. Oh, oh my god. That's gross, no? Yes. That's, that's above people's. That's very, yes. Jim, two seconds, please. When was the last time this place was cleaned? Ah. Uh... Have you seen this? No, I did not. My goodness me. Who's responsible for the cleaning here? I'm responsible. I didn't do it. Have you seen the fans? I do not like to clean. I hate cleaning. To me, that's a four-letter word. So I'm about to start eating. I give that a little shake, and all of a sudden, the dust just runs down. Let me wash my hands before I start eating. What a mess. You want to microwave these meatballs, please? OK. Work with me. Cheese. Sandwich is ready. Okay. A meatball yeah. sandwich. Meatball sandwich. Um. Okay. And so they buy the meatballs, they defrost them, 
And then, has that been microwaved or...? Yes. Thank you. OK, what else do we have to make? Uh, Scarpello. That's nasty. When a restaurant can't even bother to make a meatball, that's not a good sign, let me tell you that. Somebody should tell him the chicken's definitely dead. But not okay. What's the matter with these guys? Okay. Oh my god. What in the hell is that? The Colasso pizza. Wow. I mean, it's like someone's cleared out the fridge. Look at it. It's endless. It has a little bit of everything except for anchovies. Oh, that's dreadful. OK, thank you. OK. The crap and the gunk on top of it is just hideous. You didn't like the pizza? He's not liking anything. Oops. Now we have the chicken scarapella. Oh. Wow. It looks dull. That's not right. Oof. It smells. Is that fresh? Um. Can you ask them how old the chicken is, please? Whoa, oh, that was nasty. How old is the chicken? I don't know. When did we get it? Uh, I don't know. We took it out of the freezer Tell yesterday. It's 14 years old. We took it out of the freezer yesterday. It's frozen. It is not fresh because we can't afford to keep fresh meat here all the time because we don't serve that much. And if he wants to donate money so I can make it fresh, no problem. But otherwise, tough. They're not open for lunch, but so far, what I've just experienced, they shouldn't be open for dinner either. He took out the freezer yesterday and doesn't. Remember when the delivery was. Excuse me. Oh, dear. Excuse me. I didn't think it was that bad. Ugh. Under the tables, it's littered with gum. Colleen. Yes? Look at that. It's everywhere. Ugh. Absolutely disgusting how lazy some people can be. Let's go on a gumball rally. Oh, oh, God, under there, look. The size of the gum under that one. Oh, look at that one at the end. In the corner. Oh, my God, look at that one there. When was the last time the tables were cleaned? Not ever that I've known of underneath. They've never been cleaned underneath? No. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighteen. 19, 20 bits of gum. Every freaking table... Has gum underneath of it. Has gum underneath. We're going to get out of this. No. Don't say that. Come on, stop crying. Grow up, you You. Uh, Jim, Jeff. Coming. I'm really nervous. Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm afraid of what Chef Ramsay has to say. Honestly, you seem like nice guys, but that was painful. The general feel of the place is disgusting. I can tell how much you don't care. You just stand there with your foot on the booth. Can you get your dirty feet off your own booths? Have a look at this. Every table is littered with stale, disgusting gum. We just, we never looked underneath the table. Didn't have the time? Busy for lunch? No. Open seven days a week? Not. The meatball sandwich? Disgusting. The chicken was turning. And then the colossal. Kate with crab. Were they canned mushrooms on top? Yeah. Canned olives? Mm-hmm. Soggy and tasteless. Where's the pride? I don't know. Come on, guys. It's like a joke. Find a pulse and get real. Before we open for dinner tonight, 
Would you mind wiping the lampshades? And can somebody get under the tables and get rid of that gum? Yeah. I'm going for lunch. I'll see you later. Starving. Capri, classic Italian. What a joke. He said our food sucked. And uh, that uh, our restaurant's really filthy. I didn't think it was that bad. After sampling the horrendous food... That's not right. ...and discovering a dining room that hasn't been cleaned in quite some time... Oh, God, under there, look. Chef Ramsay has instructed the twins to clean up the restaurant before dinner service. You do the fans. I don't want to get on a ladder. Let's get Darian in here. I have a staff to do the cleaning. That's why I'm considered the boss and they are someone that works with me. <laughs> For me. Get in here. Now. We don't have a lot of time. We have to turn everything over. We got an hour before we're supposed to open. After the staff takes over the cleaning of the dining room, Capri opens for dinner. Hello. Chicken skirt. Hello. And Chef Ramsay arrives. The door shakes. To see the twins in action. Hey, have you ever seen a kitchen like this before? Well, this place is littered with crap. What's that there? CO2 for the beer. Look at those shelves. I mean, that's grime. That's like 14 years of grime there. Chef Ramsay was up. Oh, there's dust here. There's this is just like, it's not that bad. What's in here, dare I? Vegetables. That's the vegetables. What's this at the bottom? Uh, that's supposed to be eggplant. What? Eggplant Parmesan. When were they cooked? Last Thursday. Last Thursday? God almighty. Look at that. Oh, feel that. Tomato sauce. Yeah, but feel it. I know, it's, we just made it today. So what's it doing in the fridge? Hold we... that. I know it's hot. Hold it. What does hot things do that are sealed that goes inside a cold fridge? The sauce goes sour. I didn't know that. You didn't know that. I suggest you spend five minutes sorting out your first before you start cooking, yeah? Okay. I should have known better. He's right, but he's just a pain in the ass about it. Darren, you can go through it real quick? Yeah. Trash. Thank you. With the rotten vegetables thrown away. I need to order wings, please. And the order's pouring in. Jim and Jeff get back to cooking. Darren, order green beans, please. Got it. And begin to send food out of the kitchen. Make sure they say a prayer before they start eating that. Hey, the chicken. I can eat that. But the diners are less than impressed. It's so disgusting. I'm nauseous. Okay. They sent this back. They didn't like it? They said that you can't eat it. What was this? It was like a pile of mush. And a pile of mush. Oh, Is anyone tasting anything? Seasoning, tasting? Every time a dish came back, it was like losing a customer, and uh, it hurts. What was wrong with it? It's too floury and not enough sauce. It makes me feel like a loser. I do really feel like a loser right now. Jeff, you OK? I'm just frustrated. Huh? I'm, I'm working on it. Just... Yeah, sorry, get some fresh air. Let's go. Okay, I got this, buddy. What's the matter? Just that was a failure. Just... You can't give up like that. I'm not trying to. Just... It's not going right. I need to see what I've got to work with before I can start looking at any form of change. You have to bounce back. I'm, huh? I'm working on it. I really am. Jeff, you've got to. Okay, come on. OK. Let's go. Come on. OK. Back. Let's go. Come okay. on. Mm. Chef Ramsey's right. you got to pull yourself together and get back in there and get through the night. How are we doing? We're doing well, sir. 
Thanks to Chef Ramsay's encouragement, Jeff jumps back into dinner service and tries to help his brother Jim get the kitchen back on track. Keep it up, Jim. You're doing a good job. But unfortunately, he only makes matters worse. Jim, what have we done to those? I don't know what happened to those. I, I, I really don't. Defrosted them in the bag? I think they were defrosted in the bag, and I... Jeff. Yeah. The chicken tenders. What did you do to them to defrost them? I put it uh, on the steam table. You defrosted them in the steam table from frozen? Yeah. Oh, my God. Now what you're supposed to do. No. Frozen food needs to be defrosted naturally. Right. Give me the bag. Where's right. the bag? Oh, God almighty. We can't serve them. You'll kill somebody. Jim. Talk to me. What am I supposed to say? It's a mistake. It's a lethal mistake. Why is it bitter? It's really bad. Is that what I ate lunchtime? Yeah. Oh. This is gross. It's no. horrible, guys. It's disgusting. I've been feeling a little bit crap all afternoon. What are you two doing? I f up. I f up. Well, what do you want me to say? I want you to step up to the plate and be a man. I screwed up. You haven't told anyone yet. He was just being a jerk. He was an ass. I'm so tired of him just pushing and pushing. Grow some <laughs> and take it off the menu. I've had enough. I'm so pissed. I can only take so much before I fight back. Jim, Jim, wait. Jim. It's an hour into dinner service. Oh, God almighty. And Chef Ramsay has just discovered a lethal mistake. Spoiled chicken at Capri. You kill somebody. What am I supposed to say? Take it off the menu. Jim, Jim, out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, due to certain circumstance, we have no chicken tonight. Oh. My apology to everyone here. If you just want to have what you're eating now and leave, I understand fully, and I apologize. Hey, there may have been a more subtle way of doing that. Get out of my way. When we canceled our chicken orders, we got screwed. Will you stop acting like a baby? Oh, blow it out, you Excuse me? You heard it. Hey, wait, wait, need diaper changing. I'll give Isn't you that time of night? Little poo poo and caca pants. He's the baby. He's the one that's whining over everything. I don't need to hear this crap. Jim, why do you have to behave like this? I'm not going to get yelled You're at. You're walking around like a big baby, and I'm just asking you to grow up a little bit. Show a little bit of respect for what you're trying to cook. Uh. Oh my god, you big wet noodle. Do you want a blanket and a bottle? Do you need one? Upside the head? Jim, stop. Oh it, my please. god, what a spoiled rat. Jim, shut up, please. You're not helping the cause. Oh, my God. Now he's setting himself on fire. I hope so. Are they always acting uh, this childish? Oh, yeah. They don't get their way, they crack. Or throw a temper tantrum. Oh, my God. To walk in the dining room like that and scream. That's what I said. Temper tantrum. There's a part of me that's very satisfied to see the boys finally get what they deserve. Lesson in humility. <laughs> okay, where are you at now? I don't know. I'm sorry, but yeah. it's just really late. Let me go check on that for you. Can I pass you this? They've been here since we opened, and they haven't got their food yet. Jim, some of the tables have been waiting two hours out there. I know. We well, don't even seem to be bothered. I am bothered. Yeah, there's only three tables we served at entrees. Come on, guys, just show a little bit more enthusiasm, surely. No, it doesn't look good. Damn it. This can't be happening. It's just like a bad nightmare. Let's drink our wine and coffee. Hi, Maddie. Window wants to walk. Cancel window. Customers were not happy, so I got tired of waiting and left. It was very disappointing. I'm sorry, I'm not. It was a bad night. Our dishes took longer than usual. It was just an embarrassing night. Okay, today could be summed up in one four-letter word. Lazy. 
I can't even start to help both of you when you're not helping yourselves. I really need you to do something. Both of you, go through your kitchen and clean it. Not your staff, you, both of you. Got it? Yep. Good night. Get to work. We weren't lazy. Now we're paying for it. We're failures. Yay. What's making it turkey here? I can't do this. What's wrong, Jim? I can't clean anything. I'm a failure. I'm making a mess. I feel bad. We are in trouble. I really don't know if we can fix it. That's the problem. I'm not cleaning anything up. Go take a break, Jim. Uh, uh, no, I can't take a break. Because I'm too lazy as it is. No, I'm fine. I gotta clean this up. No, I gotta clean it. After the twins spend most of the night cleaning, Chef Ramsay arrives early, and with the help of longtime waitress Colleen and pizza maker Darian, he does something the twins have never done, open for lunch. OK, Darren. Yes, sir. It's going to be fast. It's going to be furious, but you can do it, OK? Yeah, I'm game for this. How you doing? You should come in and have some lunch. I would like the lasagna, please. Pizza. Pizza. Lasagna. Up. Lasagna. Enjoy. This is delicious. Mm, so yeah. It's really good. Oh, look at that. We got a sign twirler. Now over for lunch. <laughs> oh, cool. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, wow. I can't believe this is happening. Wow. This is our place? <laughs> Hi, welcome. Hi. Thanks for making it today. Thank you. Uh, take a seat. Feeling a little bit peckish? Um, yeah. Yeah? Well, let me get you a nice little uh, chopped salad. Uh, this is different. Uh, let's start off with a little oh. chopped salad. Thank you. And make sure you save some room for an Italian sausage lasagna and a very simple um, margarita pizza. Thank you. I'm sorry. Excuse me. It's a good pizza. I like it. Thank you. OK. Whilst you two were at home, nice and cosy, I got here early this morning with Darren and Colleen. I think today we put over $300 in the cash register. Wow. Yeah. $300, if you do that five times a week, that's $1,500. That's almost our rent. So it's a lot of money. Talk to me. I'm just <coughs> very happy. Yeah. I had my eyes shut. No, it's wrong. I sat on my butt, being lazy. You can't have your butt stuck to your bed every morning. You've got to get out and, and break the mold. Message understood loud and clear? Yep, loud and clear. After finally getting through to the twins about their laziness, Chef Ramsay wants to dig a little deeper. He has an unorthodox plan that will allow the brothers to work out their issues and their frustrations. Time to let go of the past and to embrace the future. Gloves on. I'm not going to be fighting Chef Ramsay, am I? I want to know what's holding you back. One, two. Oh, for God's sake. What is that? Two. What is that? I don't work out. It's like starting an old car. After a year sitting there, it's going to go fart out a little bit. <sighs> Oof. Come on, what pissed you off the most? What is it? Myself. Why? Huh? Because I'm lazy. When was the last time you did something 100%? I can't remember. What are you afraid of? Tell me. S screw it up. Damn it. It's just screw it up. I've all my life. I'm a failure. You're not a failure. Yes, I am. You are not. <sighs> we all make mistakes in life. <laughs> Embrace change. Are you keen to make this business work? Yeah, it's time. I'm ready to move on to make a success out of this. OK, last 10. Let's go. 
And again. And again. Come on. Hit it. Stop kissing it. Come on. Come on. And again. Ready to change? Yes. Good man. Yeah. Get the f out of it. I know I'm going to put behind me all the, uh, the laziness and look towards the future and the successes that are coming. Jeff, let's go. Good. Good. Nice. It feels good to just let out a whole bunch of that I've been hanging on to. Nice, nice, nice. Take a breather. Good. Wow. What does this restaurant mean for you? A life, a career. And you think by sitting on your lazy ass all day long and turning up, halfway through the day is going to make it work. You need to commit. Good. You, in here. Let's go. I don't want any headshots. Just one round. And tell each other it's time to work. Let's go. We can work together. We can work together. And if we can be successful, we just got to talk to each other. Can I keep anything inside? Yeah. You know. No. Stop. Well done. Give him a hug. Boxing each other uh, was a good exercise because it, it cleared the air and it showed me that I, it's time for me to work hard for the business for both of us. OK. Good. It's time for change. Got it? Got it. Are you ready? Ready. Good. <sighs> Get cleaned up and meet me back at the restaurant. Satisfied that the twins are ready to make some changes within themselves. Okay, how are you feeling? Good. Good. Chef Ramsay okay. now wants to focus on something else that needs a major change. The food. When was the last time you made a meatball? Probably five years ago. Yeah, and why did you stop? It was easier. Lazy. Oops. Let's make a meatball okay. Okay. together. It's been a long time since we made meatballs, but I'm ready to do this. I am a professional. Right. Ground beef. Season, yeah? Salt and pepper. Garlic. Handful of chili flakes. Chef Ramsay is a magician in the kitchen. Oh, you just add this and this and this, and it's just like. Jeff. Yes. How big do you like your balls? <laughs> uh, pretty good size. I mean, you know. Golf ball size? What? Little taste. What do you think? It's good. I like it a lot. Can you do that? Yes. Can you do that if you need help? Yes. Homemade meatballs. Homemade yes. meatballs. The difference is night and day. Homemade. Homemade. Can't hear you. Homemade. homemade. Can't hear you. It's homemade meatballs. Get outside and shout in the street. Homemade meatballs. Tell them in the neighborhood. We have homemade meatballs. I can't hear you. We have homemade meatballs. Finally. Stop. We have homemade meatballs. We have Ramsey is back to find America's hottest amateur chefs. Be the best or go home. Master Chef. The new season begins this June on Fox. Faced with a restaurant that hasn't been touched since 1963, Chef Ramsey and his team work overnight to give this restaurant one of the biggest makeovers in Kitchen Nightmares history. Right. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. You are in for a big shock. Are you ready? to see the new Capri. Yes. yes. Good. On the count of three. One. Two. No peak. Three. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Oh, my God. This is nice. <laughs> Just have a look. We have brought the Capri from 1963 Fast forward it, transformed it to 2011. It's beautiful. Oh, look at it. Oh, cool hip. Man. This place is going to be hopping. This is nice. Oh, wow. Gone is the carpet that was stuck together with tape. You have the most amazing reclaimed wood lining the walls. Look at that. Yeah, that's right. We had to put it on the wall as well. Colleen, oh, what do you wow. think? It's... Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. We got rid of those hideous green boots. You have the most amazing tailor-made cut Pews as benches from your local church. Oh, 
wow. wow. Sit down in the pew. Are you happy? Yeah. Like a pig in Yeah. yeah. It's great. Colleen, yes, sir. come forward, darling, and bring those menus from the pocket there. Oh, I love my it. Goodness. Gone are the dirty plastic menus. <laughs> Design what your kitchen is capable of producing. So now it's time to stop ignoring the business and run the business. OK. Yeah? I get nervous when you don't talk. He's, huh? he's totally stunned. Come on. It's just amazing. It really is. I've never heard you this quiet. I don't have anything What's this... the matter? Just amazing. I'm in shock. I never thought I could look so different. This is beyond what I could ever think could happen. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. We're moving up. And it's exciting. It's a second chance on life. This is going to be the coolest place in Eagle Rock now. Exactly that. Right, come through, please. Look at this. Oh, my stuff. God. Let's start off with meatballs or forno, yes? What are they? Homemade, Homemade meatballs. meatballs. Homemade meatballs. OK, salads to the table. Welcome. An Italian chopped salad. Yay! For me, the hallmark, the pizza. The margarita, classic. Eggplant, palm pie, delicious, and just gives a completely different twist. Now, entrees. Baked meat lasagna, one of my favourites, yeah? Mm. Baked herb chicken with fingerling potatoes and a white wine sauce. Jim? I like it. That's Jeff. A lot. It's cool. I'm Jeff. That's Jim. Yeah. <laughs> right, little taste? Yes. Jump yes. in. All right. Oh, the broccoli is so good. The food looks unbelievable, and it even tastes better. It's excellent. The eggplant is amazing. I'm starting to get full already, and I haven't tasted half the stuff. Excuse me. Welcome. Put you right over here, please. Word of Capri's relaunch has spread through Eagle Rock. We have a new menu. We have great salads and appetizers to start with. And the dining room fills up quickly, with customers eager to try the new menu. You want to do the mac and cheese? The boneless chicken wing. I'll go grab that and come back to you. All right, let's go. There you go, Jim. Medium margarita pizza and a baked chicken. Okay. And I, and I want you to call it out like a chef. Okay. Owner. I got two. What is that? Hot potato skins, two wings. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Jim? I'm nervous, but I have to believe that I am in charge and I know what I'm doing. Own it, own it, own it, own it, yeah? Come yeah. On. Got to leave from the top, buddy. In spite of Jim's nerves... Table five is ready. Pick it up, please. Food is quickly making its way out to the diners. The high knife. Perhaps a little too quickly. Me. Listen, guys, guys, the chicken's not hot enough, especially inside there. Get in the oven, get the pan hot first. Jim, I think he's starting to really get a little panicky. Jim, give me a time with the chicken, please. I, I, I got the, the chicken in, in the, what's in the pan and stuff. It's, it, it's heating up. Jim, bounce back. Yeah. It's not a race. Okay. Customers will wait for good food. Hot food out in the window. I'm dragging the meatballs. Here's spaghetti meatball. Yeah. Is that how I showed you to play a spaghetti meatball? No. It looks like someone on my plate. Dear Jim, it's like, come on. It's so easy. Just on. And you're more capable of doing that, I'm telling you. It's not rocket science. You can't even grate cheese. No, no, no. Stop panicking and yeah. focus. I'm panicking right now because we want to get food out quick. <laughs> but it's like, hey, don't screw this up. It's an hour into service. Sausage. And Jim is struggling to keep up with the orders. Jim, how much longer on my table four? It's coming up right now. Unfortunately, a relaunch that had such promise. The appetizer meatballs. Did you really? I did not see that. Looks like it's slipping away. Your chicken's coming also. Jim, look at me. What table number is that for? 16 is there, and you cutting it right now? I had a mushroom and a meat lover. Put it right up. This is going to 16. They haven't even got their appetizers. Oh, sake. God darn it. Oh, come on. Come in, you. Come in, both of you. I need you for 30 seconds out of all this. Oh, oh, man, we're doing this again. I thought we got through this. Please don't let this be the end. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That. It's 
next relaunch night at Capri. And with the kitchen backed up. Jim, give me a time with the chicken, please. The chicken in, in the what's in the pan and stuff, it's, it's heating up. And diners waiting over an hour for food. Come in, both of you. Chef Ramsay has no, seen no. enough. Look at me. Look at me. Right now, you're making yourselves look stupid. Right. It's a big night tonight. Yes. And you're pissing it up. Yes. So please listen to me. You have to command your kitchen. Yes. You have to work together. But yes. it's not a race. Right. Customers are going to wait for good food. Stop panicking and yes. focus, OK? Yes. Come on. Chef Ramsay was like, what the f is this? How could you? And I go, ugh. We slip back into our old ways of doing it. And it's like, you got to change. This is a new Capri. I need an order of garlic knots and pepperoni and cheese. Yes, sir. Go help him. I'll take care of this. Got it. It's time that I grew up. It's time that I start working as a man and not as a butthead. Sausage and bean, put some cheese uh, on this. I put these on this, right? Yeah, put a little uh, oregano. Oregano. OK, Jim, good. Now we're getting a system. Convict it, yes? Yeah. What's next? Uh, 16. Good. I got hot food up here. Please serve it. Once we started hitting our rhythm, it was great, because things were going out. Excuse me. We settled down, and we got it zooming along. How are we doing? So good. The meatballs are our favorite thing okay. to this is really good. It's delicious. This is made from scratch. You can tell. This is so amazing. It's been one hell of a roller coaster ride, but we've learned a lot from Chef Ramsay, and he's left us with a lot of inspiration and hope. I can see that we will make it if we keep doing what we're doing. Tim, Jeff, you've come a long way. It's been a tough journey. Yes. And in order for this place to continue functioning, you both must work at it. Yes. Don't clutter. Yes. Show up early. Yes. Lazy is a four-letter word. Yes. Good. <laughs> God bless you both. <laughs> Thank you, sir. OK? Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good luck. We have went through a lot to get, uh, you know, to get the nightmare into a, a, a dream. It's yeah. still a learning process, but the future looks really good. The Capri is going to work. Good luck. <laughs> God, honestly, I'm never going to forget the twins in Eagle Rock. Let me tell you that. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much. Jeez. Yes. <sighs> wow, that was hard. I mean, really hard. But I now really believe that both Jim and Jeff and their little restaurant can become a huge tourist attraction here in Eagle Rock. And oh, come on, who doesn't love a pizza and a show? <laughs> oh, that was hard. Man. Just one month after Chef Ramsay's departure. Can I take a picture of you two with, with Jen? You oh, sure, sure can. The twins kept their promise and open for lunch. It's excellent. It's really good. The new food and decor have made Capri a hot spot in Eagle Rock. Come back again. We're going to keep this going now. This has been a life-changing experience. Thank you very much, Chef Ramsay, for what you did for us. I think it's going to work. It's going to work. By the way, we have homemade meatballs. Yeah!